Welcome back. You're still watching Technoholic. Now that we've told you to keep away 33,000 rupees from your budget for the Samsung Galaxy S2, it's now time to look at some other innovative products that were launched at Computex in Taipei. And this time it was only tablets, tablets and even more tablets. Here's the complete list. Computex 2011 was held in Taipei, Taiwan this week. We bring you the technologies to look out for from Computex 2011. First up was the tablet and a smartphone called the Asus Padphone. The combo device features an Android smartphone with a tablet shell. This is the combination of the pad and phone. Motorola Atrix might be the inspiration behind this, but well, both the devices look very sturdy. Asus hasn't released any specs on the pad phone as of now, but it will be an interesting technology to watch out for. Next up was 3D, yes 3D technology and NVIDIA is trying to encourage people to go 3D now. At Computex, NVIDIA announced the new pair of wired 3D active shutter glasses for $100. NVIDIA says that the new glasses support more than 65 different screens running on NVIDIA's 3D graphics processor. After NVIDIA's 3D power, it was time for Intel's own Atom Oak Trail processor. Intel is having a tough competition in the tablet race when it comes to processors as ARM processors are going in for a kill in this segment. So Intel at Computex showcased Oak Trail power tablets from manufacturers like Fujitsu, MSI, Lenovo and Toshiba. The Oak Trail processors promise to deliver better performance than its counterpart. We'll have to wait and watch for that at first. On the third day of Computex, Microsoft previewed the next generation Windows, codenamed Windows 8. In a technical preview, Microsoft demonstrated how the new operating system is optimized for a newer touch-centric hardware, including tablets. Apps can be launched and switched between in a fluid manner in the new OS. So we sure hope that this will be the best Windows OS till date by Microsoft. Asus was the shining star again. 3D tablets in a new concept and Asus decided to be the first in this segment by showcasing the Memo Glasses free 3D tablet at Computex. It's a 7-inch tablet that runs on 1.2 GHz Qualcomm processor, has a mini HDMI connector, a 5 megapixel camera and a lot more. As it's exclusive and something to look up to in the future, no prices yet but such technology won't come cheap for sure. Finally, ViewSonic officially announced the launch of the ViewPad 7X. It's the world's first 7-inch honeycomb tablet and also boasts of an NVIDIA Tegra 2 CPU. The 7X pad also features dual cameras, HSDA Plus and increased connectivity options. The tablet will also feature HDMI connectivity. There were no promises made on the release date and pricing of the ViewSonic 7X. Okay, so that were our list of devices from Computex in Taipei. Now guys, this Asus Pad phone, brilliant concept. Yep. Brilliant that a phone can dock into the back of a tablet. But the only thing is, the question is that, can you use the tablet separately or will it always need the phone to be It'll docked in? It always need the phone. And that's actually a good thing because truly speaking, you have to realize that, I mean, you have such a powerful phone here. Uh, you have a 1.2 gigahertz processor and all sorts of other stuff you're putting in there. You're putting in a 3G connection as well. All of that stuff, why would you want to duplicate exactly the same thing in a tablet when the only thing that changes 
is the screen size. The OS also might be the same. I mean, there's now Android on phones as well as the tablets. Uh, there's uh, iOS on your phone mm -hmm. as well as your tablet. Why would you want two separate things? I mean, sure, if you want them for the sake of redundancy, wherein if one fails, you have the mm -hmm. other, that's okay. But from the perspective of cost savings, if I could get a phone for, let's say, 30 grand, and I could get that tablet add-on mm -hmm. for, for 10 grand, it's just giving you all the power of your phone, and then the bigger problem you're eliminating is syncing data between the two devices completely. It's one device, there's no need to sync data between the two. Tagar, concept is sold to you, the Com Asus Fat Phone? Completely sold to me because there is no uh, no time in the day when I'm not taking my cell phone somewhere. So obviously whenever I'm taking that uh, fad, it becomes an add-on. Mm -hmm. I think what Varun said completely is, is, is perfect advice, you know, because I don't want to duplicate my 3G SIM card, I don't want to duplicate my apps, I don't want to... Uh, I want to sync it all the time because it becomes one device and if it is priced, just the tablet is priced at close to 10 grand, yeah. I think it's super. I think the concept is nice but I still have one question. What if I want to buy the tablet for somebody else? But I still will have to have a phone to dock into the tablet. Which means if I want to buy a normal tablet, you don't yes. buy this. See, this is for guys who are always on the move and they already have a powerful enough phone and the tablet just goes along with the phone as a cheap add-on accessory. So this is similar in concept to the Motorola Atrix which has the laptop as an accessory to it which syncs the phone and you can use it on the laptop. Perfect, perfect. This is the same concept but you know what I really like about this concept is that, I mean the pricing is something which they really have to crack because it, it has to be like an add-on. Because you know I don't know of a single guy who owns a touchscreen phone who does not want a tablet for right. himself. You know, so and if you get the pricing right, I think this is going to sell like hot cake. But beside all of that, I know you guys are great Android fans, but really, ice cream sandwich. I mean, come on, that's their naming scheme. Ice you cream sandwich. <laughs> so you had gingerbread, which is G. You had honeycomb, which is H. Okay, and then you have I, G, H, I. No, but I think ice cream sandwich has got childlike simplicity. So I think it works. It, it's going to catch on. Hi, here's my new phone and my new tablet. I have an ice cream sandwich. I have no idea how that is going to catch on. <laughs> this is one good part about Android. Yeah, Please, give me a break. I'm OS 10 Lion, Tiger. It's at least got a ring to it. Tiger, it's at least got a ring to it. Tiger means it's strong. Oh, I'm sorry. I have an ice cream sandwich. I, I, think, I think even the Apple OS names were kind of cool. But it, they're following a pattern. So I think this is slightly cuter. G-H-I-J. What will be J? Jelly? Uh, Jello. Yeah. Yeah, oh Jello. my god. Jello. Then we go. Jujips. Jujips. Okay, okay, it's getting into food territory right now. Okay, so what we're saying about the Asus Fat Phone is that it is a good concept. Hopefully, when it comes to India, we'll have warmed up to it by then and we will go ahead and buy the tablet. And that's about all the time that we have in this grand food discussion. Mm -hmm. Ice cream sandwich is still being on top of it. We'll be back in the next segment with the news of the week.